Uh, what's up? Is this thing on? It's uh, it's on. This thing is okay. on. We are live. Uh, here we are. More sorcery sealed. Yeah, check it out. More packs. Yeah. Very cool. Look at that. Yeah. Um, so uh, we're, we're gonna do we're basically the same thing we're gonna, we did last week, right? We're just gonna yeah open uh, these here packs. And... Retail value of each of these packs, uh, forty five dollars. Oh yeah, at least so, per pack for sure. Yeah, per pack. For um, sure. Yeah, I think I think we're just going to do the sealed thing that we did last time. Uh, I think we're still going to stick to the fifteen lands twenty five. Yeah, we're going to kind of roll from there, see what we like. So. Yep. All right. So I am going to. Paparazzi Stone. Hello. Hey, what's up? I'm going to mute my mic First in Discord so that I can uh, talk through my my pack openings and my deck building, and they can't hear me. So. Yep. And I will uh, mute. But I will uh, holler when I am done with my deck building. So sounds good. Sounds real good. All right, I'm I am officially muted, and we're gonna go into the the deck building bubble over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open these, all these packs and, and then delete the packs so I don't have to look at them anymore. Oh, what's this? Mirage. Okay. Flame Wave, well, that's probably pretty good and sealed, right? Sedge Crabs, Cone of Flame. Okay, well, we got some good fire stuff already. Uh, there are six avatars in uh, in the Tabletop Simulator mod. One of them is Pathfinder. I think we're we're not going to be playing with Pathfinder because uh, that avatar is getting changed very soon. So. We're, we'll probably, uh, what happened last week, I think, is we both ended up playing Sorcerer for every game, which I, I, I would not be surprised if that happens again. So I'm just going to start by sorting these into element. So water, earth, Let's enhance this Pudge Butcher a little bit as much as possible, air, okay. So that's my exceptional, 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 and the elite site. Planar Gate. I wonder if that's... I wonder how good this card is. Nearby minions have Void Walk. Does that mean I can summon them nearby? Like any minion nearby? That's my question. Uh, some Cavalry. That guy is great. Ogres are great. Mad Dash. Okay. We got a Pegasus. We know that three, fl three Power Flyers for three are good. Sandstorm, I'm not... Super excited about catching out a commoner VOD and bless. Yeah, there you go. Uh, commoner was a lot of fun. I know Nathan didn't enjoy it that much, though. I think Sandworm's probably pretty good because I think I think in a sealed environment, your opponent is probably pretty likely to be playing fire, at least with the cards as they exist right now. All right, so we're playing this flame wave, that's for sure. Is that a shifting sands? The card, another card that Pete everyone wants to nerf. They ain't nerfed yet. Instant recall. Okay. Another land. This in. Okay. Do they gain Void Walk or is it just effect? So it says they have Void Walk. Nearby minions have a Void Walk at all times. So at what point during summoning do they have Void Walk, right? Men of Lang. Okay, we like the Scarabs. Some Pixies. I like some Pixies. Uh, those crabs have iron skin like that. Some corner void thing. Ooh, yeah, I like that card a lot. Oh baby, oh baby, and blizzard. Let me turn on my UI so I make sure I'm not like dragging piles around. Uh, really, only earth one earth card so far. Did I mess up a pile? There's no way. There's thirteen air cards, right? I think I messed this up. Yeah. It could be OP, but I, I don't know. It's just, that's a strange interaction. I was hope maybe someone will show up that can answer that question for us. All right, that's fixed. We got a beetle. We got some snakes. We got another Pegasus. I mean, like air fire looking pretty good so far. Uh, I like this caravan as well. Counterspell. Ordinary Counterspell being great. Uh, Autumn Unicorn just being great stat-wise. And Firebolts. Love that. Cone of Fire. That That's exceptional. Okay. 
Scroll Curator. The top three cards of spellbook, one on top and the other on the bottom. That's that's interesting. I kind of like that guy. Is that air? Yeah, that's air. Sunken treasure. Okay, all right. Elite counter spell. It's earth. That's an elite spell too. Sea serpent, eel, some more scarabs. Fade is good. Beast of Verdon is pretty dang good. Fate Changeling's great. Heat Ray, love that. Uh, yep, love that guy. Turtles, Iron Skin's the most broken ability of the game, so that's great. Blood Ravens, alright. We got Maze Minotaur. Nearby enemy minions can move only to sites near this minion. And he's got Iron Skin? I think my fire pool is insane, right? Free city. The city can defend itself with power of four until it defeated once. Okay. Alright, cool. Flood's good for water. Bedrock. Uh, earth site. Alright. Some pixies. I like these pixies. Common sense the, is the common tutor. Sandstorm. I like Highland Mercenaries. Uh, these hippogriffs are great. Haste is a very powerful word, keyword. Airborne is as well. Okay, I love the spellcaster as well. I, I'm leaning toward fire, air, pretty hard here. Minor explosion, yep, easy. Longbowman, thunderbolt. Oh baby, the best card in the game. Don't nerf this card. Don't do it. It's perfect as it is. Actually, I think at least they're going to change it so excess damage is not dealt to the site because I think that's probably unnecessary text for this card to have. Incinerate, outstanding. Love it. Mirage. Okay. Just gives you some instant threshold. That's not bad. Uh, I like these Frontier Settlers. Is that a, the Mirage Elite? That's exceptional. Okay. Um, this guy is solid. This is my Elite. Fire skills, spells cast by the bearer cost one less mana and require no fire threshold. Okay. Do I play this? One less mana is pretty good. But is that worth like a deck slot? Am I gaining a card worth of advantage from playing this card? I don't know. Hang glider. Teleport. I like teleport. Uh, like a room monster too. Scorpions. Gosh, <laughs> my burn is insane. Rattlesnakes. All right. Thanks for that sub, Bill. We appreciate you. 39 months, tier 2. Oh my gosh. Insane. Uh, I have 27 fire cards, for real? There's no way that's right. 27 fire cards, 23 air cards. My distribution was very, very heavily uh, in favor of fire here. I could almost probably play mono, mono fire if I wanted to, but I think it's worth it to splash air. There was some good air stuff I saw. Siege Ballista is definitely going to get included. I love that card too much, so. Let's see what we got as far as fire playables. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go through this pile and take out stuff I definitely want. I think this is probably worth playing just because of the lethal. Got some barks back there. Uh, again, same reason. Incinerates damage, minor explosions damage. I don't think I like sandstorm enough. I like the minotaur, I like heat ray, I like the beast, cones, firebolts, yep, caravan. I might not play two rattlesnakes. Bud. Bud. Chill. Chill. Um, Beetle is fine. That's a definite good. Beetle number two, maybe not fine. Flame Wave. Sandworm. Is like... It's pretty good. Uh, okay, this made it into the wrong pile. Uh, this also... I must have drug a pile. That, that explains it. Alright, Cave Troll. Beetle's correct. I don't like a bunch of beetles. Camel is probably not worth playing. Sandstorm, Mad Dash is a... It's hard to know if, if you get a card's worth of value out of this card, right? It's, I'm not sure I play that. Ogres, I like the Ogres. I like these guys too. Alright, so that's 18 cards. And let's see, if we, let's see what kind of air playables we got. The Cloud Spirit is very mobile. It can go 
pretty much anywhere. So it's like it's like pretty okay. Uh, Roaming monster is pretty okay. Haste is uh is pretty good. I, I won't disagree with that. But this is two air threshold. I feel I think I'm leaning towards just one to include stuff with one. Teleport is okay. Hang gliders okay. I like this guy. We like the Vril Remnant. We like Thunderbolt. We like Apprentice Wizard. Two air threshold for the Hippogriffs is maybe worth it because they cost six, right? And they're powerful enough to, to include, I think. Um, Sling Pixies. Are these worth it? I'm not sure. Blood Ravens. I don't know. This guy. Probably worth it. You can play him turn one with a, with a tower. So that's pretty strong. Fades a cantrip. So I think that makes it worth it. This guy is a one power do that cause test two threshold. Not making the cut. Pixies, not making the cut. Pegasus, a thousand percent makes the cut. Shade is shade. I, I, don't, I don't think shade's going to make the cut. Another Pixie's making the cut. All right, instant recall. Teleport any number of allied minions in harm's way to sites near your spellcaster. Cancel attack spells or abilities targeting them. Three threshold, though. I think three thresholds probably too many thresholds to play this. We're going to cut. Uh, Men of Ling directly to an avatar. Eh, I don't think that's worth it. Fade is a cantrip. Bats are like, okay. Blizzard. I'm not about that strategy. It's not proactive enough for me. We're definitely playing the Siege Ballista. So that's 29 cards. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if we can cut anything from this. I don't think I'm playing this mix. Ignis. I'm not playing any of this stuff. I don't think I'm going to be adding anything at this point, so we're just going to combine these piles. The spellcaster mean avatar? Uh, spellcaster is whatever you choose as the thing that's casting the spell. Avatars are by default spellcasters, but there can be minions that have the spellcaster keyword as well, which means you can originate spells from them. So it says minion near your spellcaster gains stealth. Um, this minion is a spellcaster. You can see on its keyword right there. So it can cast spells, and that matters for uh, a lot of the fire spells, say like X amount of spaces, see two steps away from your spellcaster. So you could have Apprentice Wizard cast this minor explosion, for example. All right, so let's get... i got to cut some cards. I don't think I'm playing this other beetle. No. Um... We love all this stuff. Sandworms, maybe? Caravan's pretty good. This guy, I think, can create some interesting plays because he's carrying other allies. I don't think you ever cut burn spells in this format. Scorpions, not good enough. Rattlesnakes, not good enough. I like so this, uh, this incinerate combos with my dragon. Love that. We love that. All right, so that's 16 cards and 10, so I only have to cut one card for my air. I have a cool 25. It might just be the second fade. Or teleport. Uh, let's see. That's that's 100%. That's 100%. That's 100%. Teleport's a maybe, right? It's like, it doesn't even cantrip. Yeah, let's just cut it. Let's just cut it. Is that it? Is that 25? Have we done it? That is. That's 25. All right, so we got to grab some lands. Oh, we got to find Shifting Sands, because that was a good one, right? We got that right. Yeah, there it is. All right, that's 100%. Um, the Free City... See, these, these don't provide threshold. Is the problem. This Cornerstone might be worth it if I'm trying to be aggressive. Uh, I have some haste stuff, so I can play that like on Nathan's side of the board and then kind of attack him from the side. The scarabs explode when they die, and actually, they, they explode when they die. Yeah. So I can show you. On death, they explode, dealing splash damage. And that could affect me. Right, that could backfire. So. Um, Bedrock's an Earth site. Cornerstone, I think I'm going to play. Mirage, is Mirage worth playing? I don't feel like it is. I don't think it is. Bedrock's not going to get played. Donnybrook in. All players can summon minions there, they cost two less. That's good with, like, the dragon that I have and the hippogriffs. 
But otherwise, I'm not playing a ton of creatures, right? So I think that doesn't really help me enough. Free city. Also, I don't think it helps me enough. So let's go back. To, let's go hit up our our generic land. So it was it was nine air cards and the rest sixteen uh, fire cards. So let's go to pile all these guys and pile these guys. All right, so that's one, two. That's five. And we have one shifting sands, right? So that would be play six or seven air. Let's let's do seven air. Copy this gothic tower. And then three more fire. One, two, three. So that's 15. All right. There could be some funny teleport scare plays, but like, again, that's like, it is card advantage is a very important thing in this game where you don't want to be spending cards that aren't going to make the opponent lose a card in some way. Right. So if you're teleporting a scarab and blowing it up somehow, you're definitely losing the scarab. You're definitely losing the teleport. So that's losing two cards. So that, that play needs to net you. Uh, that needs this like at least remove two cards of the opponents or more then you start getting advantage of the game because of how, how hard it is to draw cards in this game because you only draw one card a turn instead of refilling your hand like in uh, games like Keyforge. All right, I'm going to unmute in Discord. All right, I'm done. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I need like uh, I need to fix my mana. I got to cut one card and then fix my mana. Okay. So maybe like a minute. No problem. 90 seconds, something like that. Uh, I'm going to grab... Do I grab Sorcerer? Or do I grab something else? Probably just grab Sorcerer. I feel like Sorcerer, uh, as a generic hero that everyone has access to in Sealed, unless they draft one or unless they get one in their pod, I think that's acceptable, right? I, and like, you, Instead of saying like you can bring any avatar you want, yeah, I you think could, the you only could then limit it. I think the only like of the initial four that are that's probably close to playable is probably Earth because Earth can have like a big attack. Yeah, if you if you like, I think Earth. I think the other avatars you're more likely to like draft a deck around. Right. Um, but uh, in just like sealed like sorcerers, just like here's an extra card. So. Yeah, it's just like it's like two extra cards, right? You don't want it to be two extra cards, but yeah, that, that but could if you have, if it's got to be, it's at least. I think, uh, like, I also think the card. teleport ability at the end of the game is much more powerful in this format. Yeah, than it would be in constructed. So, check out there. I also got a mirage. You look at you look at my deck. You scouting? What's that? You scouting over there? What's that? Oh, oh. 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 I'm wondering uh, when they're going to be, so that if, if you're not aware, they're going to be updating almost every card in the game in some way because they're, they're uh, you know, universalizing wordings and they're, uh, they're changing some things like um, I think they're trying to tighten up splash damage a bit so that go wide strategies are more viable uh, to further disincentivize stacking. So... I'm curious to see how things will be when they update cards. It'll be like a whole new game. Again. One more time.
scuffling over there? Yep. Oh man. It is All right. it is pretty crazy to think they'll be shipping in September. It is crazy to think that. I don't believe it. But I'll be pleasantly surprised if it happens for sure. I'm gonna cut. Okay. Alright, I'm cutting as well. Alright, let's roll. Three. Five, I mean. Twelve. Twelve. Alright, I guess I'm going first. Three from the Atlas. Four from the spell book because of sorcerer. Uh alright. <clears throat> I think I start things off with um playing this arid to desert. Okay. I could I could do damage to myself. I choose not to. It's probably a good call. I wish I had these uh is there a situation in which you would force yourself into death's door? You could draw cards with, with sorcerer, draw right? Card. I mean, and teleport and somewhere? Teleport. I think that's a play, right? It, it's certainly a play. Yeah. Is it a good one? I don't know. It's a play you can make to finish an opponent off uh, that's a death's yeah, door true. with a spell, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or even go punch him because you're like, I need a damage for the rest can of the you, turn. You can't take damage the turn you go into the death's door. That includes Correct. your turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you could like play yeah. a. Blast spell, you know. Yeah, that'd be an interesting play. Interesting play. Uh, I'm gonna draw from the Atlas this turn. Okay, we're gonna play a site. We'll play this desert as well. I will not do damage to myself. And your turn. All right, you're gonna draw from the Atlas. Draw one. I am going to play the Gothic Tower. To me, site placement in uh, sorcery right now feels like a chess game. Yeah. yeah. Right. If I put my site right here, this is a very aggressive opener, right? Right. Uh, all right. Anyway, so I got three mana. The I'm going to play the move. Play the uh, the plume Pegasus right here. This man's out here Pegasus, and I thought we, got... we agreed not to Pegasus. <laughs> I had never agreed to such a thing. You done? I believe my Pegasus record. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, I believe my Pegasus record's pretty good. So, I too never agreed not to Pegasus. Because mm -hmm. I'm playing one. Dark Tower, Pegasus. Um. Yeah, I'm done. All right. I am gonna draw from my spell book. All right, I am going to play uh, Desert. I think I'll play it here. I'll do one damage to you, your Dark Tower. All right. Pegasus Mirror. All right, now, this may be premature. Um, but I, I think whoever controls the skies controls the realm. Yeah. So I am going to spin attack. All right. Um, so the Plume Pegasus is going to spin attack the site, or I guess to get your uh, Pegasus dead. And then I'm going to attack your site with my Plume Pegasus. I'm dead. I mean, I take three. All right. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to draw from the Atlas spellbook. Spellbook. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna play a site. Play this Gothic Tower. And I'm gonna play this Maze Minotaur. Actually I'll play it here. Yeah, we'll play it here. So nearby enemy minions can move only to sites near this minotaur. Pretty cool. 
and he's got iron skin, which we know is the most powerful it, ability in the it game. Is, it is the most powerful ability in the game. All right, I'm done. All right, I'm gonna untap. We're gonna draw from the spell book. Uh, my, I guess this is ready. Um, this is this is a very Spider Man pointing at Spider Man game right now. I know. Uh, I I will comment that I felt like my water comments were. Appro like approaching completely unplayable. Oh wow! Okay. Limited. Yeah. Now I don't know if that's a fluke. It could just it's variance, right? It's card game, high variance. We're of course playing with an algorithmically generated set yeah. of cards and not like a print run like you would normally experience in booster draft, right? Um, but uh, uh, it's, I think I it's very hard not to uh, lean toward air fire. In yeah. this format, I gotta, right? I gotta say the water comments felt not great because uh, I feel I feel the same way, and uh, I think water has all these like synergies with only water that makes yeah. it hard to to deck build with other elements, especially yeah, exactly. in sealed when you don't have any options like to to pick and right. choose. Yeah, I, like I think like some of your best commons in water, your best ordinary cards in water are like Riptide and Drown. Yeah, um, right. but so you're I, I mean, I wondering. We were all the cards are getting to pass, like I said earlier, right? Every yeah. some, some like less powerful stuff's being brought up, more powerful stuff stuff's being brought down. So I, yeah, I imagine we, that'll I, change it a little bit. Yeah, uh, that would be some of my feedback right now. Yeah, uh, is that if if they want uh, limited to be a fun experience, I, uh, water. I, mean, I could see like one person drafting water at a table and smashing the draft oh, because yeah, they sure. they have all of the water stuff while everybody else fights over everything else. And water is that much um, better if no one else is playing water. Yeah. So. Yeah, fire and fire will be harder to draft because everyone's trying to get it. All right, so I'm going to play the dark tower back here. That's going to put me up to five mana. Um, I'm going to play the spectral stalker, and I can play this anywhere, right? Yeah. In the void. Yep. Into the. Void. Um, all right. Now, the question is where I, I think putting it back here to scare you <laughs> is not bad. So scared. Um, I got two mana left. This game only digitally supported until the cards are released or it will be ongoing alongside physical play. So right now uh, there is a print and play stuff you can download for the game. And other than that, it's just tabletop simulator. I don't know how, I yeah. don't even know if I don't, the print and play stuff I, was updated with this, these, this big card pool. They're definitely going to be more vigilant about updating TTS as far, I think, yeah. from what I've seen. There's not a digital client, right? That's not going to have its own standalone client. Yeah, it will client, never have a digital I, client, right? Yeah, So, but, but I do believe they do like they intend to keep things in TTS. Yeah, just at up, least up till release. Something. We don't really know what their plans are post release with TTS. But that being said, every game in existence has a tabletop simulator mod you can play. So, yeah, even the ones that just aren't saying. officially supported. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, I got two mana. I hate wasting mana in this game, but. I I don't think I want to I don't think I want to spend this mana. Um, now uh, this Pegasus just gets eaten by the Maze Minotaur, so I think I just leave the Pegasus up here flying around in the sky. Um, and I'll tell you to go ahead. All right, I'm gonna draw from the Atlas. Okay. This play is too cool not to make, so I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna play Shifting Sands here. So until end of turn, meaning summon here, gain haste. Four mana. I'm gonna play the Sandworm. And Sandworm has haste, so it's gonna smash this fire sight. Okay. For five. 
And then this Minotaur. I think this Minotaur also goes and smashes your air sight. You can block with the Pegasus if you like. No, I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. I am done. Okay, I am uh, going to draw from my atlas. I am going to play uh, the Watchtower. There's like a, I can either play this strategically, uh, I have to like choose which strategic place I want to put this. Right. Um, I, I have the dude, uh, this is like kind of telling you what's in my deck, but I have the dude that wants to walk around all the corners. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I want at least something in one of the corners so that I can play him and get the card immediately, right? Um, but uh, at the same time, the watchtower up here is pretty good because if you've got any stealth stuff, then like I can, I can shut it down, right? But I'm going to play it back here for now, so. Oh, fab spoilers. That's cool. How do we get some of them spoilers? I'll have to, have to check that out in a bit. All right. Um, so we got five mana. I am uh, going to incinerate the sandworm, I think. Oh, no. Splash damage there. Why isn't it also Eight, immune to fire? It's not fair. Uh, okay, uh, the Plume Begus is going to attack this site. Can move only two sites. Okay, so it, it doesn't have to move. It just can only move to sites near. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll take three. I guess in theory, I could even... It can only move to sites you can, near. So you can move, like, to there and there, I, right? Yeah. I th and there. think... Which I think stri strategically is this better? Or is this better? I think this is better, so I'll move there. Okay, and then the spectral stalker is gonna go beat on your caster. All right. And uh, it is your turn. Okay. Adult Islander. Ooh. Oh, interesting. That's that's a cap. Wait a second, that's a kappa. <laughs> okay, draw from spellbook. I am going to play a kappa. I I don't know what's what is, what is why true. Is capping. Why I'm being gaslit by chat? Over yeah, here. we are. Uh, gonna play this tower. Where am I gonna play this tower though? How aggressive do I want this tower placement to be? I think here is fine. Um, and then I'm gonna play this flame wave. Okay. And we're gonna originate from this side of the board here. So five, four, three, two, one. So we both take three, and this survives due to the iron skin. I'm going to smash the site for three. And one mana left. I'm going to play this real remnant over here in the void. Your turn. All right. I am going to draw from my spell book. Um... I am going to play this Dead of Night Demon. I'm going to draw from my Atlas with my Sorcerer. And... And I think I'm done. Go ahead. I'm going to draw from Spell.
My gosh. All right. I am going to move. And place my explosion centered okay. on. That, that kills through stealth. I or think so. Stealth. Yeah, I think stealth yeah. just means they can't be targeted or whatever. Okay. It doesn't make a move, you'd splash damage or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, you take three as well. I have two mana left. You're at three. Mm. Dang it. Oh, I guess I have this Minotaur. Yeah, I don't know. I we don't just, know what you're. We just smash you. Yeah. It's All a right. Uh, I am going to teleport over here and draw. Okay. Uh, two mana left. What does this guy want to do? I guess we'll take a walk into the plane of existence. And I will play this fade on my Minotaur to give it stealth. Yep. And draw a spell. Alright, your turn. Alright, I am going to untap my Sorcerer. I'm going to use my Sorcerer to play a Desert. And I'm going to shoot the Vril Remnant. I am... Going to uh, with my six, I'm gonna play the gyre hippogriffs. Oh, geez, and then I'll attack your sorcerer. And okay. it is your turn. I'll draw a What do I draw here? Sorcerers or this? These hippogriffs are scary. I think I'll draw a spell. I have one, two, three, or five mana. Minotaurs are gonna walk this way. Sorcerer is going to go this way. Going to play this cavalry for four, occupying two sites to sort of protect. Uh, and I'm done. Untap, drawing a spell. Uh, okay. I am going to play the Basilisk here. Dang. I think Petrified taps them. And then the hippogriffs are gonna beat on the site. Ugh. All right, so I can teleport. I'm gonna teleport to here and uh, draw a spell. Okay. Uh, I am gonna play teleport, and I'm gonna teleport over to here. And then I am going to draw a site. Sorry. A yeah. A uh, site. Go ahead. Okay. I think I died to a desert here. That's not untapped. Uh, I will draw a site. It's not a desert. However, I do this cavalry, like play and smash you for three. Well, I had I had one in my hand to kill you. Oh man! <laughs> I, uh, so I teleported near you because I could uh, incinerate you. Yeah, I, so I, I figured you. You knew you that. played nothing but burn spells that game, yeah. so uh, it, I didn't think it was a mystery with your sorcerer. Our moving. decks were so the same. Yeah, they were pretty much basically the same um, deck. But that was a close game. It was pretty close. Yeah, I um, uh, 
the like uh, the flame wave i think is what pushed it, yeah, it was like it was a two for one for the flame yeah. wave yeah um i think that that is what pushed it yeah it was a it's pretty close i don't so i had two of the gyre hippogriffs which is pretty good that I was your had, like, dragon. so oh man that's dope it's fucking dope yeah i mean seven is honestly it's not easy no i think it's you not. could you could tower into it right like yeah. if you drew a tower you could i mean um, it's so hard to get to seven otherwise in a sealed game i think yeah yeah uh it's not clean right because i do think i do think it's pretty fast um, also, I, I had the uh i had the in that makes the minions cost two less i thought about playing i didn't play it Oh yeah, I could I could justify that with the dragon. Maybe I had I also had one hippogriffs to play alongside. I had that, this so. I had this bull demons of a doom uh, to the play. Most broken it's creature like, in the entire yeah. game. Oh my god, they're so good. They're so good. I had a couple uh, birds. I had, the, I had like the midnight road to use as defense. I had uh cons I cut the um I cut the rattlesnake, but honestly. I might consider playing the rattlesnake. I think lethal might be better um, than we're giving it credit for. Well, I think lethal in this is really good because lethal would have killed this uh, minotaur. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Uh, I had a fade. I had cyclopean mummies. The t waypoint portal. I had like lots of reach in my deck. I had uh, this psionic blast, but um, I didn't draw like was the that guy? burn. Oh, the, oh, the chimera? chimera. Yeah. Yeah. Those are sweet. Um, yeah, he's he's really cool. I wanted I I uh, was hoping to play him. Oh, this is the card I was looking for. I I feel like if I had drawn this at any point, I would have been fine. That'd have been insane, right? yeah, for sure. Teleport any number of allied minions in harm's way. Like if you flame wave and I move them all to, to the, the one two corner, area, yeah, yeah, to the two area or whatever where they don't die. Like how crazy would that have been? Yeah. So, but I didn't I didn't have it um, at the time. All right, so. What's the plan? We're going to try out um, another let's, Winchester uh, win draft? Let's, let's Winchester with seven. Let's Winchester with seven packs. Okay. Because I don't, like, I, I felt like there were not enough cards to make pretty good decks. Out of uh, last week? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to delete all this stuff in the middle. Okay. It's all gone. I got deleted. This. Here's my decks. Here's my cards. Deleted. I'll have you know you destroyed hundreds of dollars. dollars. Seven hundred fifty dollars with cards just now. Yeah. All right. So let's go grab. And another these are even the valuable pool. ones. And we'll grab another pack. So I'm gonna grab another sealed pool. I'll just grab another pack from it. Oh, geez. There, seven packs. We'll try it out. Um, we did. Uh, we did twenty twelve for this format last week. Do we want to stick with that? At, with the seventh pack, or do we want to see if we can do twenty five fifteen? I think the twenty twelve sort of worked out for this format. It was actually not easy to get to that number. It was not. So was I not think easy. I think that's still probably fine yeah. uh, for this two player Winchester. So all right, I'm gonna make. Should piles. we do? Should we honestly? Should we do uh, nine packs? Nine packs. Yeah, because that would be um, ninety cards. Well, this is this is more than ninety cards now. Sorry. Uh, like 130 something. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, yeah. JK, JK, JK. I was thinking 90 cards for each of us. No, like that's a, way too many, right? Yeah, that's, uh, you're right. You're that's right. way that's too many. It's way too for many. For a draft. All right, let's try seven. Like said, no. We'll let's edit try. this in post. Let's try seven. Let's try seven packs. Don't look at these. Yeah. All right. So what? Uh, if you didn't watch last week, what we're gonna do is we made a stack of ninety-eight cards with those seven packs, and we're gonna make four rows of cards to draft from. So we'll see. Rose, Rose goes first. Two. Eleven. All right. So Nathan gets first pick. Um. After each pick. The rows are refilled, which means oh God, the you could track. stack up. I shuffled this right. Uh, yeah, well, it's not like say so the difference is this isn't like magic where there's five colors and multicolor and stuff like yeah, that, right? Right. Um, I think it's far more likely. Like this isn't this isn't average 
but it's not as unlikely as it may initially appear for you to hit three twenty-five percent in a row. Not that it's a clean twenty-five percent, but um, that's completely insane. They, they, yeah, they're they're, they're stupid. They're completely it's insane, taken. right? All right, so now I refill these packs or these rows here. Free city, uh, nice quagmire. Okay, and thunderbolt, thunderbolt, sea serpent, huh? Thunderbolt is the most broken card in the game. It is it is as powerful yeah. as Ancestral Recall was in Magic. So, um, it's like it's I pretty. I tempting. don't think Sea Serpent is that bad. It's I think it's no, a defensive it's fine. creature. Yeah. but I think it's I think it's fine. It's fine. And, and like the the bad part is, well, I guess Waterbound. You can you can make other sites water with your cards, right? Yeah, you got to get them. Yeah. However, I don't think they're not as common agree. They're not as common as you would like for them, though. Correct, so. yeah. Um, this is a tough pack to take because of the two thresholds in each of these. Uh, you're definitely not guaranteed to hit either of those thresholds if you draw one of these in your opening hand with the three sites. I'm taking the Thunderbolt. It's the best card in the game. We're taking it. For, for now. It's the best card in the game. Oh, I don't, I don't think you're going to ignore that pack now. No. Yeah. Ordinary counter spell is actually probably really good. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can't ignore this pack now. You got hit. You got. Oh man, That's bone kind of rabbles. Cool. The bone rabbles. Uh, hmm. Is bone rabbles good? I don't. I don't feel like two bone rabbles is doing anything, and it's, it also says non water sites. Bane Spider. Bane Spider is probably pretty good, honestly. I don't know if it's like a single pick good. But I could take this here uh skeleton theme deck. This cloud serpent pile just to diversify a bit. I think this is fine. I'm just gonna take this pile. Ordinary current spell is only one earth threshold too, which is legit. Doomsday device. The doomsday device. Oh shit. The violet um, is incredibly violet good. Is pretty good too. Yeah. Is, this pack is nine, is five cards. You don't like the spider? Like... <laughs> you don't like it the spider picture? Look is that at... Brian Smith art? What's going on in, like, on the head? It's got, like, a human it's, body it's with that... another spider on it. I'm telling you, it's that Zatoslaw Z Zabrinsky oh my God. influence there. Like, it, like... Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if if Brian Smith was uh, influenced by that artist, but that artist has like this e evocative art that's just horrifying, Jeez. just deeply unsettling. So, I think I have to take this Doomsday Device. It's too it's fucking pretty funny. sick. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I can't, I can't leave it in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be trusted with that. I got to take it. All right, Spiral. I like Spiralich. Uh, Hurricane, submerge all minions on water sites. We like that. We like that. Uh, Sprite Smith did get influence. There you go. The mix air. Okay. And firebolts. Oh man, vile imp and firebolts. That is an unignorable pack too. Vile imp and firebolts. I don't have any fire yet, but I think I'm not like married to a strategy yet. So I'll, I'll take the violent firebolt stack. Ooh, air, uh, the ruins, the best land in the game right there. Yeah, yeah, air, fire, ruins. Yeah. I like how this middle stack is. It's, um, it's getting big. Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards. It's and encroaching it's on like, my area. I think it's like still justifiable to pass it. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I'm gonna take this. I think the this dual land is very strong. This, yeah, since this like way over the top. Ooh, that pack just got great. Oh man, there's also a bridge troll up in here. Huh. The Swan maidens, the hippogriffs, mix air. Buffalo is like only okay. I but, yeah, they get sort it's of like the, the actively kind of bad, right? I, I I think I think it's minus one card if you put it in your deck, right? I would like, agree with that. Yeah. Um, it's a card game. There's always going to be the worst card, but that buffalo, I think it's probably the worst. I, card. I do think they're trying to make those 
one cost minions yeah. more powerful. So there's that. Um, this I am like looking at this flyer as my pick. Pregnant. I'm looking at it. Uh, I think this is also a decent pack. I don't love this kite archer though. He's never really been that exciting for me. I like the spectral stalker well enough though, but he's too threshold, and I think that's gonna be kind of hard to play. <laughs> I might not have enough cards for a deck. Uh, we got 66 cards left in the pile, though, so... You know, it could happen. Or I could just take this pack. Ritual's fine. It's, like, fine. Uh, or the Hippogriff. We're gonna take this pack. We're gonna get it off the table. I'm sick of looking at it. It's encroaching on my play area. Mix air. I don't hate uh, critical strike. Yeah, it's fine. I am going to say that it. I feel like I feel like the mix air, the mixes, the those artifacts, they're interesting in concept, but I they're, think they're, they're not good enough. I think they're dangerously close to lace level. I think they're not good enough. Yeah, I think I think they're very close to lace level. You can I, you can push the power of these if you want to be Moxon, which I think they do, make them a little more powerful. Well, you can have two of them, right? Yeah. Like, that's the... So... But, yeah. Range avatars and minions have plus one range. You can shoot. You can have the kite guys fight fire from three away over they there. They do their one damage. Great. Awesome. I mean, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a firebolt on a plume pegasus. It's a pretty good pack. This blaze, uh, blaze, blaze is sweet. Stalker. This blaze is really good. sweet. Time to play Fire Air, both of us again out of this uh, <laughs> three seven packs. Yeah. Gonna be being very powerful in the future. That that may be the plan. Maybe the plan. That could be. Can't take Blaze anymore. I'm, not, I'm legally not allowed to take Blaze anymore. Um. All right. I'm going to take the good cards. First game was pretty close, Bill. I ended up winning uh, just because I had a haste guy to play after Nathan's at death's door. So. Uh, I, I had a haste guy in my hand to kill Justin. It was, it was it one turn each either way. Like, like it, was, it was literally that close. Another bridge troll. In the same pack. Yeah. I mean, this, this blaze pack, though. We like this blaze pack. Oh my gosh. The queen. Oh. Queen's super good. My queen. Are you going in? The turtles? Do the turtles draw you there? The funny thing about the bridge trolls is like if you took them, I'm not sure how I kill them. So, like, you can move them with blades, right? No, it gains three movement. But you can move them with whirling blades, right? You can move them, you can move them with teleport. You can move them with any number of things, forcibly right? Forcibly moved, so. yeah. So I believe whirling blades is forcibly moved. Because bridge troll whirling bladesing. Pretty cool. Uh, I like, I'm going to take this pack. Just because I don't think I have a clean answer for bridge trolls should they arrive. Free city. Okay. Yeah, it's force movement. Okay. Uh, well, this has got an incinerate on it. Incinerate says does five damage. Uh, I like whirling blades as well, and the Highland Clansmen are haste, so they're automatically playable. I think this is the pack for me. This is like. This one over here, the Sandworm Plume Pegasus Blades pack is also arguably just as good. Just because of the Plume Pegasus. It's like Incinerate versus Plume Pegasus. Use the Intercept trait so you can move your Raymond to adjacent site and attack a newly summoned minion. Hmm. I think there's a lot of potential for uh, keyword abilities in this game. And as far as like 
design space. Like you could have yes. you could have minions that untap it in your turn and they, you, they tend you to need, like you need elegant keywords like banding. <laughs> yeah. Sorcery could benefit banding. Sorcery could benefit from having banding in this game. Yeah. Man, this is tough. This is tough. We'll take the insert pile. Snakes. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Well, I have to take the first pile, though. That Patrician Calvary pile is very good. Raven. Salamander. It's got fire immunity. God tier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh man. I mean like Cerberus and a cavalry. Cerberus is pretty cool. I I gotta take it. And surveyors go oh my god. Yeah, I just take the pile. Let's yeah, I'll just, I'll just I'll take save the pile. Some time here. Yeah, just take the pile. This uh, set of cards heard us complaining about the power level last week that we I, drafted, right? I think there is a card like that, John Druitt, that it's like a, a a relic that absorbs magic. I had, so, well, stuff. so the funny thing is, I actually had the uh, I had a five cost relic I did not play that said. Um, that uh, damage done to the site is reflected to nearby sites. Mm, um, okay. So, which I think would have been really funny with the uh, um, the Pegasus or whatever, right? Like it yeah. just carries carries that. I see. Right, I'll take this back. I think there are ways to play around that kind of thing. It just like it depends on how much you want to invest in your that into that during deck building. Uh, I'm gonna take this four pile. Thirty cards left. Okay. Sonic Blast. Secret Tunnel. It's decent. Um, Blast and Hippogriff, huh? Yeah, we're taking that. A second queen? Oh, shit. I feel like there hasn't been enough Earth quite... At least that we've seen so far. How much earth do I have? I only have five earth cards. I got six. All right, well, I'll take this pile. It's got two fire cards in it. Assume the deck building limitation still on play limited. I would also assume that. Uh, another mix air. Uh, I mean, Rimland Nomads is the best creature in the game. I think we've figured that out already. Riptide is good, it is, though. It is immune to fire. <laughs> we're we're going to grab it. Well, we'll play. I'm probably not playing these two queens, but just know that may, we should have gotten Mixed Earth, so then I could play them. Oh, shit. Well. Uh, seems pretty good. Yeah, 
Yeah, whatever. I'm taking these. Shifting sands. Oh, jeez. Uh, shifting sands might make this pack worth taking. I kind of want to take this real remnant scorpions pack though. The rest of this pack is so boring. Yeah, let's take these guys. It's fine. Oh shit. The Nowhere Island. Yeah, I'm just going to take this pile. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent pile. It's not it's not it's like exciting, but Oh my god, the best card in the game. I got two of them. That's it, I guess. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'll take this huge pile. Yeah. Ooh, all right, do I? Uh, yeah, I, I do. This just limits your deck building options. Yeah. Uh, I'll take these guys, I guess. Okay, I'll take this alone. All right, we'll build some decks. Fire, Earth, it is our fire, uh, air. So we'll do 2012. And go. It does look like it'll be hard. It would be hard to make 25 work, actually, just like looking at my pile numbers. I got 28 Earth and, I mean, I got 28 air and fire cards, so. To combine? I have 26 uh, air and fire cards combined. And then, um, 12. Earth and water. How many earth and water do you have? Well, uh, 10 and 11. So our packs were just slated toward fire air and fire and two times. Like, also in the last seal, it felt that way. Hmm, that really makes you think. Hmm. Really makes you think. All right. Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> this is getting played. Pretty sus. This is maybe getting played. I'll probably play this guy, actually. Do we have Suska? Uh, I don't think so. Doesn't doesn't look like it. No. We need to fix that. I'm sure we got email slots, right? Oh, yeah, we definitely do. Number of fire air cards total? There might be. It's not by much, though, if that's the case. Oh, it also, uh, I think the rarities aren't equal. Is that Does that make sense? Like, there might be more exceptional cards spoiled for water and um, an earth. So it's grabbing from except or from ordinaries at a higher rate from fire and air, maybe. Yep, this is all good. Nope. Uh, maybe. Good. Good. 8 and 11. I think that makes the critical strike, or I can play Cloud Serpent. The Cloud Serpent's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's 20. Do I play this stuff? Nope. And nope. Alright, basic lands it is. So 20. My total card's been spoiled compared to the whole card pool. There's been about 250 spoiled. Uh, at least there's 250 in this mod. There's more than that spoiled. There's, there's a couple cards that have been floating around. Nothing's final yet, so it's like we don't necessarily know what everything does. Um, and then the total card pool for the set's going to be like 402 cards or something like that. Something close to that number. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, do I just grab? One, two, All right. We're doing 20 and 12? Yeah. All right, I'm done. I'm going to grab a sorcerer. Also, I think they're changing firebolts to not do splash damage. Just like hit one target over three. So it doesn't just kill all frogs in existence. I think the deck quality is a little higher, that one extra pack. Yeah. I but I do think that. it would be better if the quality of Earth and Water cards was brought up a little bit. Earth, I don't think, is that far off, but I think I think Water is not as close. Yeah. Um... I gotta cut one last card. Ah! What's gonna be? So hard to choose. That rattles things again. I don't know if anyone tier 3 is to a same word, Bill. Satch. So no, no, uh... No one needs the email. Yeah. Oh, sorcerer. Oh, we appreciate it. Mushroom Man is a good one. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's a great idea. <laughs> gotcha, Bill. Checkmate. <laughs> That's the Netflix move. <laughs> Are you done with these lands? Uh, yeah, I'm done with those lands now. Pay to win emotes. That's right. This is a pay to win uh, viewer situation here. All right. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Roll. 15. Let's wait till we do our, our sub only stream. <laughs> Why do you always win these rolls? It's so easy. It's, cause, uh, it's because the computer algorithmically decides instead of us using the weighted dice that you have for Keyforge. Whatever. Uh, do I right. mulligan this? I'll drop three and four. Mm, I think I'm. Um, think I'll keep. 
It's saying, this ship is unsinkable. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to play my $450 ruins card. Is it foil too? Oh, that'd be so sick. It's foil. foiled. That'd be so sick. Foiled, Eric signed. Oh, man. And there you go. That's it. Man, I'm so jealous of that ruins. Holy crap. Uh, I will draw an Atlas card. I'm going to play. No. No, I'll play a tower. I'm done. Tower and desert is literally God tier. Okay, I am going to draw a spell. I am going to Plays desert back here, choosing not to deal damage to myself. Uh, right. Okay, good. Right, I'll draw a spell. Uh, I'm gonna play this Gothic Tower, and I am done. All right, I am going to draw. From my atlas, all right. I'm going to play a desert here. I'll do one to you. You really did it. And then I'm going to play this Petrosian oh, Calvary. Geez. Oh, geez. Boom! Get in there, aggro yeah. baby. Okay. Oh, geez. It's your turn. Draw a spell. Okay. Untap. I will play my air desert. I'll do one damage there yep. to you. And then I'm going to play these firebolts and zap your cavalry for three. And um, I have two mana left. I am done. All right. I am going to draw from my spell book. Uh, yeah, I'm a spell book. All right, this is going to be a little bit unorthodox, but I'm going to use my sorcerer to draw a from the atlas. Okay. Um, three mana. I'm going to hold off. Go ahead. Hmm, okay. I'll draw a spell. I will play this Gothic Tower, or Dark Tower, and the five mana, we're going to dump a roaming monster on your head. Okay. And I'm done. Draw go, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah, on your head, so... Me. Excuse me, Mr. Monster. <laughs> All right. I am going to draw from my spell book. I am going to play the Shifting Sands. That's illegal. That's a three hundred thousand dollar card, by the way. Out comes no. the sandworm. Rawr! He's gonna eat your burrowing monster. 
How does it feel, Justin? It's bad. How does it feel to be on the other side of the shifting sand sandworm <laughs> combo? The sands shift in many ways. All They're right. shift in my favor on this day. <laughs> uh, go ahead. I had the shifting sands in hand, so that's why I didn't want to play it the previous turn. That I makes sense. Yeah, I think, I think you really want to get value out of that. It's because it, it gets so much value. Yeah, because it just it, it it ate a five mana spell. Yeah, I draw Atlas card. Play a tower. Play. This here, Cloud, Cloud Spirit. And. I'm done. All right. <laughs> I will draw. The, the monster appeared out of nowhere and was definitely not making irregular rhythms. <laughs> Thus was consumed. Is this yet another unorthodox turn? Um... I, I don't think so. I'm going to drop this tower right here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, so I go up to six mana. I am going to play these Rollicky Dragonettes right here. No! All right, end of the turn. Shoot down the Cloud Spirit. And it is your turn. Draw a spell. I'm going to tap to draw an Alice card. Okay. I'm going to Thunderbolt the Dragon Nuts. Terrible. Yep. And I'm done. Okay. I am going to draw a spell. I am going to draw an Atlas card. I have five mana. I am going to play my Calvary. Um, occupying these two sites, I think. And it is your turn. All right, draw spell. This Calvary is a very interesting tactical yeah, card. Yeah, they are. I like them a lot. Play this Midnight Rouge. So if I were to Whirling Blades this Midnight Rouge, it would I just murder this, this stuff. I, I think it does kill the Calvary. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So I moves up two steps in a cardinal direction, deals damage equal to the power to all enemies at Whirls past. So... Yeah, it so can't it just actually. Kills the Calvary. It doesn't yeah. do anything to the people in this square. But I think I still make it chillax here. Yeah, it's gonna chillax around that, that their space. And then I think do I play another site? Or do I draw? Or I could move. I don't really need to move right now. I could play. If I play a site like here, I cut off your worm from like you playing a fire site and then moving over here. So I'll play this tower. Yeah. All right, your turn. All right, I am going to draw a spell.
I am going to play my desert right here. I'll do a damage to the Loon Tower. Uh, they sold oversized tokens of the Alice cards that you can put in the place of the cards as you build the board. So mm, like creates the terrain. That would be actually really cool. I can see that. That'd be a good like third party product, right? Like uh, customized. Yeah, like 3D, 3D printed. Kind of print. Yeah, not in, not necessarily 3D printing because I don't think you want cards chilling on 3D printed stuff, but um, take just one. like prints, like Etsy prints take, or whatever. Take one. I don't, right, I, got... I don't know how you handle like submerge, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Um. Okay, I'm gonna play a plume Pegasus here, and a plume Pegasus here. That's illegal. And it is your turn. I will draw a spell. All right. I'm going to play Blaze on this uh, Midnight Rouge. So, plus three movement and deals three splash damage on each site, and it's awake this turn. So, we're going to go one, two, three. Uh, I have to go to four. I have to I have to leave that space to do the three to that Pegasus. So, um, and it did three to the Sandworm and three to you. So I think I'll I'll go ahead and incinerate the Sandworm, and it's going to do one more damage to you, the excess damage from the Thunderbolt. Um, so that's four mana, one two three Probably. four five six. Three, four, six. Uh, I'll play this spectral stalker over here. I'm not. You know why <laughs> you've come? Uh, hold on. Draw a spell. All right, it gets treated. Okay, fine. Alright, I'm gonna open a new pack of swimmy swimmy jerky bars. Okay. Here, I'll even enhance the video in Discord. Swimmy jerky bars. Oh, they smell so good. Oh. Alright, come here. Getting on your camera. Come here. Can you help up? Can you do it? You can do it. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. All right, he's not gonna do it. Wait, wait. There you go. He did it. It's fine. How exciting was that? Premium content. content. So good. <laughs> wow. All right, continue. Okay, uh, I'm gonna play these gyre hippogriffs right here, and then I'm gonna attack this cipher four. All right, and I am going to draw sight with my spell caster, and it is your turn. Try to change my background. There we go. All right. I will draw a spell. I'll draw an Alice card. We'll attack the site for two. We'll attack the site for three. I'm going to incinerate those birds, the hippogriffs. And uh, I am done. Okay. Already up. I'll draw a spell. There's probably a deck you can make that's like lethal creatures and whirling blades and, and junk like that, right? Yeah.
the like the like whirling slash thing. But if your friend's not playing creatures, I guess this kind of sucks. All right, for one mana, I'm going to firebolt away the Spectral Stalker. Okay. I am going to draw an Atlas card with my Sorcerer, and I'll tell you to go ahead. Alright. I'll draw a spell. Oh my god. Alright, we'll uh smash the site or two. We will move the sorcerer. We'll play some hippogriffs. And we'll smash the sorcerer. For four. Your turn. Okay. I am going to draw a spell. All right. I am going to play the tower. Nate's background is like generic it's, something it's goes default, in Discord. Default <laughs> Discord background yeah. number four or something like that. So um all right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna play the roaming monster right here. And then he is gonna spin attack. He's gonna kill the hippogriffs and the midnight rogue. Okay. And it is your turn. Spell. We're going to walk over here and play Vril Remnant here. I'm done. I wonder if we're going to run out of cards on our decks. I have seven cards left. Uh, I will draw a card. I think there the, I think there's the magic rule of mill in this game. I am going to play in desert right Damn here it. and treat. Uh my roaming monster is going to roam this way and attack for two. But for four? Sorry, for four. Yeah. And it is your turn. Draw a spell. We're going to play this site and this cavalry. It's going to go smash for four. Uh, teleport there and draw one. Okay. Uh, I am done. I'll draw a spell. I guess you're landlocked now. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think it matters. matters yeah, because um, I've got eight, which is like more than enough to play everything.
All right, the uh, monster's gonna hit the site. Cards you got? Yeah, six cards. Teleport. Okay. Uh, you dump it on here for five? Yeah, dump it on here for five. Okay, I draw a spell and teleport somewhere. I live here, I guess. And it's your turn. Draw a spell. Uh, all three of the cards in my hand kill you. I yeah, got okay. this guy, I got this vile imp, and I got this hippogriff. Yeah, I had a minor explosion. I like I I killed you on the following turn. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, I had whirling blades and uh, minor explosion. So those games, those games are really close. They were. Yeah, I mean zero um, zero yeah. doesn't get much closer than that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's not necessarily Haste's fault. It's like I, the def it's really hard to defend in this game. Yeah, uh, it's like the creatures it's, explode. It's impossible to defend. I got I I don't know, Justin two for one me multiple times in the during the course of that game. Uh, but it was still very very close, right? Uh, I think this <laughs> Doomsday device was a mega lull. I don't think I could have actually. Yeah. Um, I could have played it and teleported it. So I like could have played the scorpion. Played the Doomsday device, teleported the scorpion or whatever. The <laughs> you strapped is, the Doomsday device to the scorpion. Yeah, to a scorpion and throw it into enemy territory, which is really funny. Like, um, I'm here. Yeah, but the the problem is is that you were already at death's door, yeah, right? Like you could already get you to death's door, and then um, the Doomsday device was just like way too late. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. My my biggest feedback at this point is like I wish we could play a different game than what we're currently playing because we're not incentivized to play different cards because the ones that we are playing are They're just too powerful so good i 100 like agree I, I think i think this is probably our last sorcery stream till content update on tts yeah. uh because, because I, think, I don't know I think what, what else we keep can playing get limited i think we're going to end up keep playing this style of deck right right we we, uh, we both like, made sealed pools or we both uh, created air fire decks out of their sealed pools because they're just the best cards yeah. overall. Uh, we drafted it, from the same seven packs and both created good a fire, air fire air, decks. Yeah, uh, right. So, yeah. Like, uh, like uh, this, this tough turtles. This costs three. It's got two powers. Got iron skin. Uh, it wouldn't die to a lot of the spells that we play, but it wouldn't kill any of the creatures that Justin and I play. Yeah, it's right? got wanders around. Um, you know, like I cut the rattlesnakes because they only have one power. Yeah, they just die incidentally. Um, and stuff. burrowing and burrowing and submerge are both interesting uh, mechanically, right? Um, they 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 incentivize you to play. So I don't think it's a I don't think it's a necessarily a uh, a coincidence that we don't play earth and water, and they both have a submerge and burrow mechanic attached Instead to of like them. Right? Haste. Yeah. Right. Like the, the, these powers are not equivalent. Haste gains you an action, so, and submerge and yeah. burrowing kind of lose you an action. Yeah, if you're trying to go on the offensive, right? Like submerge and burrow, are both very good. Now, there's a lot of cards that mechanically work with burrowing, but I don't 
I even had the one that let my burrowing creatures pop out of it, but it doesn't work with the sandworm because it's their earth only site. Yeah. Um, right. So, yeah, I mean, I think, I think there's a number, there's a, there's a number of things from like a balance perspective um, that like flavor wise are really cool and interesting, but balance wise, they need like a little bit of work. Um, so it's I possible agree. defending from adjacent sites is not, uh, uh, not great, but you know, does so. does that ma- has it even mattered at all in our games though, right? Mm, for the most part, no. The fact that well, the sandworm mattered because the sandworm was defending like four of my locations simultaneously. Yeah, right. I think um, that's fine. Like, like I don't see you, a problem with that. You played, yeah. You played all the haste stuff after the sandworm was dead. Right. So. Like I don't. I don't. I think because we were playing, it's impossible to defend in this game, and that, that makes it even more impossible if you can't if you don't have the defend right. un, un, yeah the defend so, sites that, thing. Personally, I would like to see Thunderbolt change to near your spellcaster. That so I think I think they are married to uh, Thunderbolt being global. So that that okay. is a thematic thing. That is what you. they want it to do. Uh, I believe the current, at least the current ruling. I think they're working on. It's not going to deal excess damage to the site. Um, my suggestion is make it only hit avatars. I mean, sorry, only hit minions. And then yeah. I think you Maybe remove that, like, able to win the game. Yeah, exactly. I don't I, like. I, I, yeah, I guess. I, me personally, I would rather see it be as powerful as it is at one mana, but you have but to nearby. have a spell caster, right? Yeah, I, 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 think, would, I, think, I would agree with that too. Yeah, I think balance wise, uh, spells are too free, and the spell caster trait isn't rewarded enough. Just from the card pool that I've seen and played yeah. with, right? Like. Whirling Blades, for instance, uh, uh, just you play it on a monster. It doesn't matter where the monster is on the map in relation to your spellcaster or anything like that, right? If it had to be like a lot adjacent of... to a spellcaster or something yeah, like that. Yeah, no, it's still like the in the game that we just played, it still would have worked, right? Because yeah. your uh, avatar was back there, your um, guy was up here, and it moved like to mine. Like that still would have worked the way that it did in that game. Um, but like I, I had whirling blades and my whirling blades was going to like, let my, I almost used it the turn previous to have the monster just move through your spell cache. It wasn't putting you at death's door, so I didn't do it. Um, so yeah, cause they could like pop out of the water and cast spells. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be interesting if you were like incentivized to play X amount of spell casters in your deck, right? Because yeah, I don't know if you want to, well, you just have to be careful. Well, so the the movement that you get from your avatars and water and air are worth more than because your spells are more flexible because you're you're able to like move on and the map. And you're kind of forced to put your avatar in more harm's way. Yeah, but that's fine because you're backed up with the powerful spells ostensibly, right? Mm, yeah, that's that's the trade off. Like, sure, your opponent can play a minion and threaten you, but you can at least answer with your spell. Um, that's cheap, and you know, uh, so yeah. I mean, I, the it, the it's the Legends of Rune Terra is a game that where they decided that like for the most part removal was going to be garbage, or if it was good, it was going to be a very expensive. Um, and I would say Magic is a game that has more or less made that decision at various points in its lifetime. So, like in standard. There have been times where the creatures were better than the removal spells were, right? Um, this game, in its current state, is like spells are better than creatures for the most part. Yeah. So you spend that, like the and the theory is that the creature is a renewable source of damage, and the spell is a one-time event, right? So, like, I don't, I don't hate that mentality in a game, um, but but right now. The spells just you get to cast them wherever you want, um, and the creatures you you removed every creature I played that game um, except for the final turn where you killed me, right? Um, so like uh, my if I if I had ever drawn my fire salamander dude, right? Um, he just walks all over. Yeah, the board. you you could thunderbolt like thunder it, it, right? But yeah. yeah, you could thunderbolt it instead of like my my other stuff, right? right? But yeah, I mean that it wouldn't have died to most of your removal at that point, right? Yeah, so. that, that's another point toward haste, right? Like the this right amp, because you get value of it immediately. These the capographs, this this cavalry, this right. this dude that is six power four haste. Like I was just full yeah. up with haste stuff in my deck, right? 
which well, I mean, means like the void guaranteed I, I like the I strategically I like void walk the way it works. I like because void walk it a lot. Of, yeah. Like it forces the like you have to decide where you want to put your void walk creature and a lot of times you're putting it in it's not in harm's way, but it ends up being it in, could harm's be in way. harm's way, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but so the opponent also has can, to like direct attention toward it. Yes. So you can sort so of you use can, it as a decoy. Can, like, Right, right. You can use it as a pretty good feint. Yeah. Um, you can you can pull resources away from the front line. So yeah, I'm a big fan um, of Voidwalk. Yeah, I I uh, I'd like to see the game develop in a way where the the site choice, like your tactical decisions on the map, mattered more. The yeah. the air fire stuff that we played right now was just like a scorched earth. We were just killing each other's guys. It matters more with so. uh with water, I guess. In play. I think it matters. It, it's both earth and water, and right? Earth, yeah, because because uh, earth has a lot of like buffing nearby minions. Uh, in know, air, so. you just kind of want to play your stuff to get your mana, right? Without Thunderbolt, when would be easily overran by fire. So I think Thunderbolt is not a problem. It becomes a problem when people play fire and wind. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I don't have that huge problem with Thunderbolt as it exists now. Yeah, well, my my biggest complaint with Thunderbolt as it exists right now is that it you can play it from anywhere and hit anything anywhere. And the restriction, uh, yeah, and so you can just like it, it's just you win at d with your opponents at death's door. Yeah. Um, there were, uh, like, I, think I were... like death's door mechanically because it gives you that buffer period, but um, the, the way fire or the way burn spells function in this game right now is that it's almost a formality, right. Justin put me at death's door the turn before I put him at death's door both of those games, and Justin won um, despite me having the ability to kill him on the following turn. I think it's tighten um, tightening and up it the, didn't the matter where damage. we were on the map. Right, so. I think tightening up the splash damage helps with that, so like retreating is more of an option when you're at death's door. The Thunderbolt yeah. is still a problem in that scenario, right? Because it just doesn't care. But that's, right, that's why I was right. like, make it start target creatures. I mean, you're hitting creatures 90% of the time with Thunderbolt anyway, I feel like. Um, but just yeah, except that. for when you're going to win the game with yeah, it, right? Exactly. So, um, the uh, or putting the opponent at death's door. The uh, yeah, I mean, the there is mechanically one Earth card that um, occupies multiple sites, um, so I wouldn't mind seeing that, right? Like, I think that's not a bad balancing way. You know, just the the ability to occupy multiple sites is a uh, is an interesting mechanic. Thing. It's sort of defensive. Now I died to a spell there, um, but that's just the nature of spells in this game as it is right now. So, and this is me, but mo mostly stream of consciousness spitballing just from experience. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think it makes it, sense. It, the games that we so the the thing was to tonight's games in previous games when we were playing like other elements, it felt like there was like more tactical decisions to make. This game felt very close to just like two red decks going at it in magic which i mean um, that that's what it was right but. And, and it has it has like it a uh there are an element of that like aggro appeal that that exists right but we didn't we, you don't have anything that has like first strike which really helps tilt an aggro match in your favor you know um that that type of thing where it's like well if i've got like a two power first striker that i can leave back and block you know suddenly like ball lightning doesn't look as good on offense yeah, you I kind of like I like the idea of first strike. I think I think there's probably some keywords um, they could introduce. Yeah, the game. Maybe, not, not necessarily I, in the I, set, but like a future. Yeah, set and start. I'm not I'm not proposing like a massive overhaul to the yeah. game. Um, so could a deck full of iron skin stick to the board and overwhelm eventually? Po possibly. Iron skin possibly. is very good. Yeah, yeah. Iron skin is really really solid. You have the stuff like those dang um, Valkyries, and then that you won't die to Thunderbolt if the Valkyries are hanging out with you. Yeah, the Valkyries are very powerful, but I think they're elite, right? Yeah, I think so, so. Yeah. The chances of you seeing them in limited are much, much smaller. Right. Um, so, like, I think those Valkyries are a, an extremely good card. Uh, it, and it's, it's, um, this is the flesh and blood conundrum. The game is balanced around the, the stuff that is really hard to get, the stuff that essentially is the monetization for the game, right? The, the legendary cards. gear and stuff like that. Um, so like the, the best cards, they, they want them to be desirable and, and, and they've hidden it behind a, a, a level of just like scarcity. Right. So, and the game, the game was designed with those cards in mind. Um, and so when you're playing, you don't have access to a lot of those cards, then the game does not feel, uh, balanced. So. 
Iron Skin's bounced with Lethal. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. All right. Right. Well, and, and there's plenty of there's like the spider that just comes into play and kills something. Yeah. You know, there's there's plenty Iron of Skin's just good against like splash damage, right? Yeah. Well, Iron Skin's just good because it, it is defensive, right? right? Like three three power Iron Skin. It's unkillable. Like you have to three. It, yeah, it, it, it doesn't set. die to like most of the burn in the game, right? So. You could, I guess, you could throw an incinerate at it if you want to use like your unique magic or whatever the the one cost do seven is. Oh, the uh, immolation or whatever it's called. Immolation, yeah. yeah. Um, so like, but if you wanted to like use that on like a Kappas or whatever, you would feel really bad. Yeah, about Kappas it. are unkillable. So. Absolutely unkillable. Yeah, but they're they're exceptional, right? Right. So like, right. you don't you don't get to see those guys in limited that often. I think most so. of the good water stuff is exceptional. Now that we think about it, right? Yeah. I think that's why we haven't seen the, any. Exciting the water, water stuff in these pools. The water sprite that um, has power based off the size of the body of water. I, to me, that water card feels uh, like mandatory. Oh yeah, um, because it's That's like your win games. Con- yeah, it's it's your win condition because you're you're going to spread to the opponent's sites, and then you've got this huge creature that's just, just smashing stuff to pieces. Um, but uh, without. Um, without reliably being able to 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 get the stuff that you need and limited like i don't see water being viable i, th- I think your, this your is like it's like largely small. based on rarities of stuff and like the power yeah. level of ordinaries right. in these elements compared to earth and water that's the big deal and i don't know how easy that would be to for them to change or if they were even willing to yeah. change some stuff around yeah. or if the, sure. one of the card pools is widened and uh, we see every card if that problem doesn't yeah. exist anymore that's that would be great yeah, so yeah, I think it's a good point, Zalem. There, it's that it's that we're we're playing with essentially sixty percent of the cards. Yeah, so 65. we don't have a full picture. So we don't we don't have like a complete picture, but I feel like with enough um, with with a uh, we've we've got enough ordinary cards to have a pretty good picture of what it's going to look like at common. So I'm not even sure what you can add at 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 common uh, or at the ordinary level. Um that would change the 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 mix up so yeah I hope right. more stuff. Right. it feels like it feels like this is all the good red stuff right uh yeah i mean well, it's, that, it's that, good that, that leaves me scratching my head about like water i think so earth is not bad like earth is always like on the verge because earth has quite a few extremely overstated creatures for their casting costs right uh, because I was close to playing these unicorns. These and unicorns just, are four power. Yeah, they They're stick on the board, right? Three, yeah. right? Yeah, no, th- those... And you got, like, the the Amazons that are, like, six power for five. Yeah, I think you can um, play just a fat-butted Earth deck, and it's probably good. Yeah, yeah. So, to me, one and two power creatures in this game are nearly unplayable. Unless they have, like, a powerful effect when they come into play. It would, yeah, they have to have an enter the battle effect. Yeah. Like, yeah, they have to, they have to, they have to Genesis do something immediately. Otherwise, uh, just like th- they're, they're anything. You, you're throwing away cards at that yeah. point, right? Um, and then three powers where the game kind of shines, um, because with, with three power, that's like seven hits to kill the opponent just by itself, right? Um, without mixing in anything else. And, um, so, uh, Four power, obviously, pretty good, um, because it's at that point four power is what survives a lot of the ordinary removal, uh, and then obviously five power, also very very good. Five power kills the opponent in four hits if you get it. Um, but a lot of the five power creatures at ordinary all have restrictions on them about where they can go, what they're allowed to do, yeah. and stuff like that. Right. So um, I think four power is. I mean, I think three power is fine for the purposes of limited, um, uh, because they they eat a full removal spell of some kind, right? Unless they're fire um, salamanders, then they're god tier three power. Yeah, yeah, best well, three power creature. Fire, well, fire salamander. No, you're thinking of the tribe or whatever. Tri- yeah, yeah, the, the the movement plus one uh, fire immunity. Yeah, guys, yeah. the fire sal- salamanders do have fire spell caster and they have fire, fire immunity. immunity. They're, they're great they're love those two. I think they're only two power. Yeah, they're still um, fine because they're fire so. immune. Blaze kills three power. Yeah. Three, yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. Blaze was pretty sick that game. Yeah, it, I, I even spread my guys out so that you can kill them, but yeah. it didn't matter, right? Yeah. So I, I guess I forgot you had Blaze, but I don't only really, I don't know. I mean, I couldn't kill the the stealth. You didn't attack with it for just like three walked. or four turns because right. I would have like traded the worm with it or whatever, right? Like just to get it out of there. So, um, one sided board wipes like Blaze. Well, I'm not against powerful removal spells, but like in the case of Blaze. Um, if you had to, if Blaze was like limited to the spellcaster itself, that would be something, right? The spellcaster gains Blaze instead of just giving it to a creature and letting the creature go flying across the field. Um, that way you would have to have some sort of spellcaster for it. Um, I don't, I don't know, right? Like, I, I don't mind the one sided board wipes because that it forces you to play around stuff, right? Yeah, I like that too. I wasn't playing around Blaze. I, I, I forgot about Blaze. There Just are, there are MTG I... cards that say all your opponent's creatures get in minus three, minus three. <laughs> but it's not even all of them, though. You have to still deal with, like, position and... Yeah, um... well, symmetrical effects in Magic aren't symmetrical, right? That's the That's the hidden thing about them. Nobody plays Wrath of God in a white weenie deck, so... For three mana? Well, you have to put something in harm's way, right? And it, the, the locations have to be adjacent. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's not, it's it's not like a 100% global opposing effect. Yeah. Uh, I think Blaze is, Blaze is obviously a good card, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm not, I'm not trying to say Blaze isn't a good card. It but, also has to be a, t a creature that can activate, because it's got to move on Blaze, yeah. and it's got to be in position to do the damage. Right. But then, but then you run into the problem is like, is two two damage is just garbage in two this damage, game? Uh, like compared I, to three I damage. had in our sealed game, I had fire bolts or whatever the one the fire ray the one that does two damage. I drafted doesn't that card anything. last week, and it doesn't kill anything, yeah. so I didn't play it right. So, so I, I was like, I'm never playing this card again. It doesn't it does not kill creatures. It doesn't kill whatever you wanted it to kill. So it's out of here. Goodbye. It's not like damage so, stays across turns in this game, so yeah. it's like that two damage is just gone. Like a, I mean, I had like kind of a running tally in my head of the amount of removal that you had, right? Um, uh, because you, I knew you had two Thunderbolts, so I, so I was like, I'll go ahead and play these Pegasus, I'll play them far apart, um, and, and like Blaze was the thing that killed them there. So, uh, yeah, but the, you, uh, I got a two for one on you with the Sweeping Strike. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, 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 like the, the thing was that game is like, I had plenty of removal in my hand, but because you were like creature removal, creature removal, I had like all this AOE stuff and you only ever had like one creature on the table. So blaze is getting the nerf hammer. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> you hate to see it. Bla blaze fans hate to hear this. I want every card to be buffed instead of cards getting nerfed. I don't want nah. you. To, I don't want you to buff. I don't want you to nerf anything. Just buff everything else. One, to be mana, one mana, two power creatures playable. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, like, I don't, even, I I don't know what text you have to give them. You have to give them more power. I don't know. Two power, like we said, yeah. is garbage, right? I don't I mean, know. Boss troll, I think, is playable at three. Iron skin on every one. You, power could make, you could give them like an interesting keyword uh, that makes maybe makes them playable. I'm not sure. Yeah, but like one power, two. Like one one cost two power submerge is not playable. I don't think. No, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, like I, I think you Jess's need Jess's draw card. That's that's definitely playable. <laughs> that's probably too playable. Yeah, it's at that one point. Power, one, one power, one cost, one power draw card is a very good card. Yeah, very good card. It's, yeah, that's it's, definitely I, too like, good. <laughs> I think, I think being conservative with card draw in this game is a good thing. Yeah. Um. So. Two, two power, power less. Yeah. Creature, I mean, yeah, one. So a one power, a uh, one cost two power m creature with movement plus one is all of a sudden good. I think because you can play it, it can, and threaten the next it turn. Leapfrog. Yeah, you can you can yeah. switch that turn where you play the land, play the two power creature, wait till the next turn to attack. That way you can play your your if land in front people, and then yeah, threaten. Both people play their lands up front. Yeah. If you go, the the opponent then has the chance to bow out. Of the of the offering, then right? Yeah, because if you go land, uh, Violent is also just guy. killing those guys for free, and it's it's an insane creature. Yeah, Violent is I think is too powerful. At the very uh, yeah, least, but, I mean, you want so here's the thing: 
you want good cards at ordinary. I agree. Right. But I think Violet yeah. uh, being one earth or one fire threshold is too free. Um, at the very least, it should be two fire threshold. In my yeah, opinion. but like at the same time, I think two like we we just had a long discussion about how like two power creatures are essentially unplayable. <laughs> right. Right. It's getting nerfed so, as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Stop nerfing stuff. I guess so. Yeah. Like I said, uh, we'll yeah. just have to wait and see. Yeah. I mean, I think I, it would be. Yeah. I'm. I am also really afraid that if you nerf too many things then the game just stops it's not fun, fun right? yeah it's exactly like, yeah, all like, the cards are just bad so. i like the big plays i like being able to engineer the blaze where it kills your three creatures that was enjoyable for me i mean it obviously wasn't yeah, for well, you, but... blaze is blaze is like a multiple well it, it i thought i had played around like i was expecting you to kill one pegasus i was ex- i was even partially expecting to kill both Pegasus. Mm. There were vast portions of that game where you were one card in hand, and I was like, he's got to be out of removal. <laughs> and that was not true yeah. the whole game, right? Like, so that that was where, like, uh, the a little bit of my frustration came from, was like, I am dogging you on card advantage, but it didn't matter. Um, you know, like, I was trying to, like, get... Because it felt like a classic... Uh, booster, like a booster draft magic game, right? Where we're, we're trading resources back and forth. Right. And it was like, it, it, it felt like, um, and I, I of course couldn't see your hand, but it, it felt like I was playing against somebody where I would play something pretty good and they were just like drawing the top card of the deck <laughs> and like killing it like every turn. Yeah. And it felt like that for like four turns. And My I was, was like, like a bunch of removal spells and I kept uh, drawing into the creatures and sweat. Yeah. So uh, it was one of those where I was just like, okay, like if, if you're just if you're just gonna draw a card that answers whatever I I play <laughs> every turn, then I mean, fine, sure. Uh, so. Yeah, I don't uh, like. I I totally agree that I I I just don't like the thought of nerfing so many things at once, and and yeah, I don't I right. don't want the game to be just be a pile of creatures on the board, what just sitting there because they can't make good attacks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah. So, um, it's, yes, uh, but simultaneously, I think the fighting over board space is intensely interesting in this game. Um, so, using using the like the tactical positioning stuff like that, like I want that to matter. And in the games we played tonight, it did not matter where I put stuff yeah. because it was just dead to a spell on the following turn. Right. Um, There's and, definitely a delicate balance. Um, so we'll just have to see <laughs> where that balance gets yeah. us. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm still like the both those games are cro- close, yeah. right? Like yeah. it was literally the next turn. So um, those are good games. Um, so yeah, like it's it's not. Uh, but it's one of those where it's like it felt like it felt like I was robbed of like some slight decision making. Um, you know, maybe it's because you had the one extra card. I went, I went first both games, so maybe because you had Drawing the one the card. extra card um, is what made the difference, right? Because you were able to put me to Death's Door a turn before. Because it, it felt like the mana... Like, I even took turns that were slightly less mana advantageous, and it didn't... I didn't feel like I was behind that game. Yeah, right. Um, from that, so... Uh, the map, so, yeah, I like the I like the map, like the map, like I think the map is really interesting. Um, so I think that like I think that's one of the strengths of the game currently. Um, so I'd like to see it, especially uh, more. constructed when there's not just boring ordinary sites. <laughs> there's like actually yeah uh, yeah well, you're, you're sites. playing like you're playing like wacky like sites all over the place, right? Yeah, I, it's something that kind of keeps getting brought up, like being site locked and and whatnot. But I think uh, the 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 sites that exist um, in the card pool kind of prevent that in a way. You could play. You um, could build your atlas around uh, like not getting site locked. Or, yeah, or yeah, 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 playing in uh, non-standard locations. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I like the spellcaster right, idea we, we had. We, I, we I, spent... I also like the idea of of more focus on spellcasters mattering. Yeah, I agree with yeah. that too. Because you're taxed for their key, for the keyword, right? And how much like you're getting one, out of that keyword? You're you're not it, usually getting instant nothing. effect out of it, right? It's almost nothing. You got you got like the dude who draws a card, and you play him because he, he draws, draws a the card. card, yeah, right, and not because he's got spellcaster necessarily. Yeah. So, sight destruction. Well, sight destruction exists. 
right? I think you can make a. Uh, I think you could make a, a Legion land loss deck, <laughs> where you There's try to sinkholes, go after. Right? Your, yeah, I think you could make like an earth, an earth water uh, sinkhole, sinkhole slash flood. spreading seas. Yeah, spreading seas deck where you like actively um, mess with the opponent's thresholds. That's probably a deck. It's probably yeah. really annoying to play against. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. It's 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 not one you can ever build limited. Not really. Absolutely you not. might be able to build no, no, it in no, draft, no. Yeah. but not sealed. So yeah, no, no, no. All right. Thanks for watching. Hello. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Just in time for the stream to end. So. How's it going? Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching tonight. Those were other fun games. Um, I'll yeah. be uh, I'll be uploading to YouTube here in a little bit in case you missed like the start of stream or whatever. Uh, unless you spend 12 hours trying to get it uploaded to YouTube like uh, last week. It's, that YouTube just sometimes really hates <laughs> when I try to upload videos from Twitch. So it's, uh, I'm doing my best. At the very least, it'll be uploaded at some point tomorrow. Yeah, um, well, we really got to fire the producer. Yeah, that, get a, get a that new producer, producer that we don't pay anything. <laughs> um, Sunday, Keyforge, uh, finals for our Tag Team Cup. And yeah, uh, yeah more content to uh, come. More Monday, Champions Monday. Marvel Champions, Flesh and Blood, probably Commoner. We got some other classes to try. Um, but yeah, yeah, Nathan hates it. Stay tuned. <laughs> but that's it, the, I mean, I talked a little bit about it. There's no swinginess yeah. in Commoner, right? It's just kind of like a like a slow grind. So, alrighty, all right, everyone, wrapping it up. Have Shut a it great down. weekend, and goodbye. Bye bye.